WTI has been sideways for the past few sessions, but today on the hourly it is looking decent, making higher highs and higher lows. The surest thing that we have, and this is the surest, that's inventories, which we don't even know what that's going to conclude at 4.30 tonight. The killer, it's what's going on geopolitically. I mean, relations are at stake with the U.S. and Saudi Arabia. They've been pretty nice to us, charging the U.S. less than its other global prices when it comes to oil. And then there's China, who is the biggest U the biggest buyer of U.S. crude earlier this year, and now it's just basically down to peanuts amid trade tensions. This is all happening while we need to make up for Iranian crude supply amid upcoming sanctions. So there you go. That's just the bag for you. Let's look at gold because you know what? It's a, the picture is a little clear. I'm going to move to technicals here. Uh, gold was in a downtrend, and it went basically sideways all of September, broke out of that consolidation. So the chart is pretty tempting. It's tempting a lot of buyers as it tries to rekindle bullish flames, if you will. And silver is also up today. So good luck out there, guys.